morning guys today is what, thursday thursday morning this is ebony by the way and i'm on my way to my eye appointment if you guys have been following our vlogs from the beginning you know that we have to keep getting our eyes checked because um we do we do have high pressure in our eyes so she just wants to keep monitoring them so this is my six month checkup so i'm just gonna go it shouldn't take no more than 15 minutes so I'm just gonna go there really quick and see what's up with my eyes. If the pressure went down or if it's the same or if the pressure's gone up. Hopefully the pressure hasn't gone up. <laughs> but, you know, just gotta keep mon monitoring that. Cause you know, that could be signs of glaucoma, which you just cross, it's not. Um, it's not anything in our family, not anything that runs in our family, but it's good to, um, you know, keep track of it and then deal with it whatever results we have just deal with it but last time I went my eye was a lot better my eyes were a lot better so um hopefully this time the pressure's gone down and yeah yo remember remember the days when an egg muffin used to cost like um what is that it's noise I'm like, what is that noise? That was my Snapchat going like, what is that? What is that voice in this car? That's what I'm like, what in the world? I just started a snap. It was the Snapchat. The Snapchat. I'm like, what in the world? But yeah, egg and muffins used to be, the combo used to be about $3. I just got an egg and muffin and a hash brown and it costs like $5 and some change. So Eric and I, we are going to film today, but the thing is, we don't know what to film. But yeah, we're thinking of doing either a Q&A, just going through our YouTube videos and looking at questions that y'all ask, because y'all ask a lot of questions, which is great. And we do answer them, but a lot of times people don't see it, and they're good questions that I feel like everyone should know. Um, like, where do we work or something, or... Like what do we do outside of YouTube and stuff like that or mainly questions about our hair too we're gonna we could answer we don't know we want to do that or another hair video that Erica has um, another idea but I kind of like the Q&A thing but I don't know we'll figure it out when we get home but we might just end up doing just some random a uh, pop-up question and answer video happy Monday guys it's me Ebony and today I'm out here at the mall um, I'm actually going to H&M because I got to return a jacket. Actually, I want to exchange it because um, on Saturday I went and bought a biker jacket because I really want a nice biker moto jacket for fall. And I got a size four and it fits well. It fits you know, how I want it, but I feel like I need a little bit more room up here. Um, so I wanted to get a six. They didn't have a six when I went, but on Sunday they got a new shipment in. That's what the girl said. And so she said the six would be in that um, new shipment. So I'm going to go in there and hopefully they have a six. Then I can exchange it. But um, yeah. I can't really lollygag in this mall too much. I got to be in and out because Erica needs the car because she wants to go to Burbank to get a hat. She wants a Dodgers hat. Because we are going to the Dodgers game today with our work group. We're having, we're having another work get together. Um, that's at 4.15. Well, actually it's at 6, but we all gotta meet at 4.15, so I gotta hurry up. So yeah. Guys, this mall got, oops. We got an F elf store, which is really cool. It's new. When I came in here on Saturday, it was packed, like super packed. Eight. I tried the eight. Eight doesn't work. Why they have these clothes? So they didn't have it. Actually, um, their shipment comes in tomorrow. They said it never came in yesterday, so oh, I'm kind of annoyed. So I might have to come back tomorrow and get it. Um, so yeah. Hello guys, it's me Erica, and um, I'm sure y'all saw Ebony in the last clip. She was running her little errands and stuff. 
And so now I have the car and I have to go get something that I want to get. I'm not really running errands though. But uh, yeah, it sucks having one car because if I want to go somewhere and then she wants to go somewhere, we just have to work it out and we did and stuff. So yeah, she went somewhere in Sherman Oaks. So I'm going to Burbank and they're on opposite ends of the town. So I, it's not like I could like go with her to the mall because um, yeah, she didn't want to go to Burbank and I didn't want to go to Sherman Oaks. So I just waited till she got back so I can go to um, the, the mall or shopping center in Burbank. So yeah, I'm just going to go get my eyebrows done real quick because as y'all can see, you probably saw in the other vlog too, they're just looking like, see this part right here? Yeah, they've been like going, growing really crazy. Like they're growing long and I don't know, I think it might be those hair vitamins, the hair gummies, because they are super, super long and they've never been like that before. So yeah, I'm just gonna get them waxed and everything. And then I'm gonna go get a Dodgers cap because I really want a Dodgers cap because we're going to the Dodgers game today. And I've always wanted one. I don't know why I waited the last minute, but um, there's one in Tilly's that I wanna see if they have. It's like a light blue distressed one. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna see if they have that. And then we're just gonna be headed out to the Dodgers game. Later All right guys, so I am back in the car from Tilly's. I didn't see the cap they didn't have it so um i'm just gonna wear my la cap i have a cap that says la on it and it is dodgers colors so i'm just gonna wear that and then maybe try to find a dodgers cap at the game um yeah because i really don't feel like going around looking for a cap when i can just get at the stadium so i'll just wear what i have so yeah hi guys hey guys we clean up nice don't we it's dodger day hey, oops Okay, we're headed to the Dodgers game. First, we're gonna stop by work. Cause we gotta have a meeting first. Yeah. Get some food, free food. Then we're gonna head out. And yeah, so my hat is in the back. I'll show you guys later the hat I was talking about. Yeah, y'all know I didn't get my Dodgers hat, but I will attempt to get one at the game. This will have to do. I got this from Santee Alley when we went with our mom when she was here to visit. So, I mean, it's blue. It says Los Angeles. I mean, why not? Yeah, this is our second Dodgers game. The first time we went was um, with our job once again. This was last year. Actually, no, it was this year. It was just the beginning of the... No, it wasn't this year. Was it last year? Oh yeah, never mind. It was last year. Yeah, I was looking forward to this. I've been looking forward to this since... I thought we were going in the summer, but um, yeah, they waited September to, for us to do this. But I was really looking forward to it. So she wants to try the Dodger dogs. It's I've had dog. the Dodger dogs, so I'm not gonna well, try it. Well, you wanna it. not try I it, but you wanna have it. I wanna get a Dodger dog, yeah. And I like the hamburgers. They have a cheeseburger there that's really good. I know it's like insignificant, but to me it tastes good, so I'm excited about I that. I mean, we're like going to the Dodger game just for the food. <laughs> but yeah, and the experience. I really want the Dodger dog with chili. But I ain't gonna get no Prius. Guys, we picked somebody up from the street. <laughs> from the street, <laughs> and a Prius. Meet the Corey. He will have you laughing all day. <laughs> He's ragging on our Prius. I know, I'm ragging on them for getting the Prius. <laughs> well, what were we supposed to get? You were supposed to get like a Honda Civic. That's what someone else said, but right I heard Priuses have really good, they're really good on gas, so. They are, and a Honda Civic is too, but a Prius just turns people into bad drivers. I don't understand this whole Prius bad driver thing. I don't get it. Yeah. Just Why do people turn their nose? It's just the car. No, not the car. The driver. It's like the car possesses people. It just. But we're not possessed. Yet. It's like the car Christine. You ever seen that movie? Mm -hmm. Christine. Yeah, look it up. This car is possessed, <laughs> and it possesses the driver who drives it. And so Prius people either drive too fast. Or they drive too slow, or they just don't know what they're doing. Well, that's about everybody here in LA, yeah, no matter right? what they're driving. No, that's all the Prius. <laughs> don't, don't let well, it be all. Well, Prius. without the Prius, you won't have your Ubers. That's all they are. Ubers you are. think I'm be in there praying? <laughs> when, when I order an Uber and I see Prius pop up, I'd be like, Jesus. <laughs> Wait, really? You know what? I don't even think about cars that way. As long as it gives me a point A from point A to point B. Yeah, I don't need all the bells and whistles. Right? To be yeah. And then I got, I don't have to shell out fifty dollars a I week mean, for gas. You know what? Let me say congratulations on y'all Prius. I love the fact that y'all got y'all a brand new car. Cause I'm still driving my 1998 Maserati. People get that confused with a Chrysler Sebring, <laughs> but we know what. I thought it was a Sebring too. I um, when I first saw you, you see, <laughs> it's really a Maserati. 
but it just got Sebring written on the side of it, and I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I don't even like a Jeep. You're on a trip. But that's my dream car over there. That Wait. Jeep right there. Jeep See, Wrangler. everybody wants a Jeep. Oh. Maybe later on in life I want an SUV. But if right now. You know what? Not them gas guzzlers. I, I mean, I ain't gonna get it yet. All right, Corey, how was your ride in the Prius? It was slow. I told you, a Prius either drive too fast or too slow, or they just can't drive. It was a slow drive. Yeah, slow. But, but we it, was, it, it, it was pleasant. It was pleasant. <laughs> it was selfish with the AC, and they got Wait, it started getting cold, so I tried the window there. It was a nice breeze, wasn't it? Hell no. What you feel? Did you put a breeze? I had my window down for my breeze. <laughs> I was on. What's wrong well, with you? You've been having hot flashes in the day. I was, listen, I did just turn 30. <laughs> so, <laughs> could have been a hot flash. <laughs> All right, so we're out here. We gotta walk over here to the city. It is a long walk. Actually, it won't be that bad. We just gotta remember where we park. Or it would be an even longer oh, walk oh, trying to leave. It should be easy to remember, like, yeah, we remember where we this. park. When we came here last time, we parked closer to the stadium. Yeah. We were like right up there. Like I said, that was gonna pop the uh, Y'all do know they kind of biased towards Prius. That's why they put y'all ass to the back. <laughs> If I'd have drove my mom's body, we would have been made up it. in this bitch. That Maserati Sebring? <laughs> <laughs> That's the last name. Maserati Sebring. Behind the Instagram. Corey's photo shoot. We're supposed to be in the game right now, but you know what? I mean, they Alright, so we are late and lost. Our seats are on the other side of the stadium. So we gotta walk our way over there. Wow, that's easy. We're getting our workout in. game omg but yeah look at all this traffic though we're just gonna sit in our car for about 20 to 30 minutes and yeah we're, we're just gonna, gonna sit, sit there and wait because for the traffic to just die down because i'm not sitting in that traffic yeah it makes no sense yeah. to I mean, i know we have a Prius still yeah it's waste gas because waste our... last time we left early but this time we stayed to the end and i'm glad we did because that game to the very end that was, was a thriller by the way, we lost Corey. I'm just kidding. He decided to go um, get a ride with some of our other co-workers because we're going separate ways home. We live in the valley and he lives in Hollywood, so y'all. It's a fun game. I'm just sit here. All right, so we just finished the 
first look. <laughs> it is so hot out here. Let's go over there. So we decided to split it up in two days because um, I have five jackets and Eric has three. So we're just gonna do as much as we can today and then um, do the rest tomorrow. But yeah, it's so hot. Struggle. All right guys, so we are all done with filming for the lookbook. We still have two more looks we gotta do, but um, we're gonna do those tomorrow. And I'm so glad we decided to split it up because it was so hot out there. And usually one of us, usually me, will break out into attitude, but I'm so proud of us. We um, kept it together, attitudes were in check. And yeah, so we'll finish it up tomorrow and then the video will be uploaded on Sunday, which will already be up, so go see it. And I know I have uh, only one earring in. I'm actually in a hurry. I'm gonna try to make it to the bank real quick because they closed in about 20 minutes. So yeah, I'm just gonna go over there and get... Actually, they closed in about 15 minutes. Run, run, run. I don't wanna go to the ATM. I'm gonna go inside. I made it, I made it. I made it. I gotta go to the ATM. Oh, my bum looks terrible. Okay. Good afternoon, everybody. It is 12 o'clock on the dot on this Friday. It's me, Erica. Hi. Um, I am on my way to run a few errands. I have to go to UPS today to pick up a package because they left a note on our door or on the outside of our building door saying that they couldn't get into the building or that they couldn't deliver the package. And I hate when they do that and stuff. Like, I wish our building had a buzzer. Like, some apartments have buzzers where you can buzz people in and some don't. So, I have to go pick it up. I just had them hold it at the UPS store because I didn't want them to keep re delivering it. I'm not there or they couldn't contact me. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna go pick it up at the UPS store, which is annoying, but you gotta do what you gotta do. So yeah, I'm on my way to, um, Starbucks now to pick up something to eat because I'm starving. Hopefully there's no traffic to Van Nuys, which is where UPS is. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. Ooh, the pumpkin spice latte is back. Hmm. I don't know, it's too hot to be drinking that. Yeah, it's like 90 degrees out here, so it's hard to get into like the fall mood with like it was actually chilly uh last night which is chilly every night in la but the wind was blowing and everything and it was the first day of fall so i was like oh fall is coming but no it's not it's still 90 degrees all right guys so i got my package right here and it is from uh flirt cosmetics uh it's a it's called the flash and it's like a an applicator where you can put on lashes easily. Now, I don't wear lashes, obviously, but there are some times where we have like special events where I wanna put on lashes and stuff and it just takes me forever and they end up looking crazy because I, I just, I don't know how to put them on. Like I can't put them on like with ease like most of these other YouTubers and stuff out there. So this is like an applicator where if you're having trouble doing that, you could just like easily put it on. It's like a, um, some kind of mechanic. Is bad. I don't know if it's battery powered or what, but um, yeah, it seems pretty cool. I'll do an unboxing and show you guys. But um, I got onto it because Jasmine, um, Jasmine Brown, if you guys follow her on YouTube, her username or YouTube name is Jasmine with like three N's at the, the end or something like that. By the way, we met her um, a couple days ago. She is so nice and everything. So yeah, she recently moved to LA and everything. So um, yeah, she's super cool, and super nice. But yeah, I bought it because I saw on her Snapchat she had used it because she they sent it to her before they released it to the public. And it seemed pretty cool and everything, so I'm really excited to try it out. All right, guys, so I'm now at the bank and I'm about to deposit my money and then be done with the errands thing, go home and wash clothes. But yeah, something exciting happened to us. A couple days ago, we hit 9K, yay! And I'm so excited because 10K is our goal and we're so close. And at the beginning of the year, I was like, we have to hit 10K this year. And we're actually gonna hit it before the end of the year. So I'm really excited. Hopefully we'll hit it next month. I'm sure we will. Um, we are projected to hit it next month. 
Um, so yeah, I'm really excited because that was our goal for this year is to hit 10K. Obviously we want to keep growing and everything, but a personal goal of ours um, was 10K this year. So um, yeah, I'm just so, so, so excited. And thank you guys for always tuning in on Wednesdays and Sundays. I don't know if we say thank you enough, but honestly, thank you. You guys rock, have stuck with us since the beginning even the people who haven't stuck with us since the beginning if you're just now tuning in like thank you for being consistent and watching our videos and those who always comment and everything thank you so much we appreciate all the comments all the nice comments and everything and all the input even all the opinions and everything we appreciate those we take those into consideration not all opinions are bad um even though they're not asked for, we still welcome them. So if that makes any sense. So thank you guys for always commenting on stuff and everything. And yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. And then um, yesterday was, a, it's kind of a, I was kind of unmotivated yesterday. Even this whole week I've been a little down and I got two messages. Well, I woke up to a message from an old friend that used to work with us and he said that he's so proud of us. He's been watching our stuff or he's been um, watching our progress and everything and he says he's really proud of us and he just said that you know he admires us admires our perseverance and everything and i just thought that was so cool that really just snapped me out of my my funk a little bit so i was really excited and then i um and then we saw the creative director that was on the house of carmen shoot that we did uh, last month we saw her at work yesterday and she said that she gave us some words of encouragement and everything she said that she also works with designers and she'll give us a call if something pops up and yeah she's gave us a bunch of words of encouragement and everything so we really really appreciate that and I know yesterday was just the day of prophetic speaking and just speaking into existence and I'm just I'm really excited now so yeah so we'll see so I'm gonna go in the bank now because I'm starting to toast in this car because I have the car off and the AC off so yeah so let me go real quick and I'll check with you guys later hey guys today is Tuesday and it's me Erica I'm going to work today so I figured that I would um, show you guys the flirt flash cosmetics before I go and close out the vlog so um, yeah I'm just gonna show you guys do a little unboxing you know I've already um, used it so it's not really technically an unboxing more like a review um, honestly, I'm not really that impressed with it, if I'm honest. But yeah, here's the box right here. It says flirt. And then you just do that, and then it comes with this little lash gun right here. It's, flirt. it's really cute. The packaging is cute as well. So I'll give them that. And then I also got the duo lash glue. You can use any lash glue, I believe. But I just got the one that came with it. So, um, yeah, so basically I'm just going to go over the specifics of it and then how I apply it and why it sometimes works for me, sometimes it doesn't. So, um, yeah, so let me take this glue out. All right, so right here you have the applicator and you just scroll up until some lashes come out. Let me focus on that. And then once the lashes come out, you just, um, you just kind of like lock it into place like this and then once you lock it into place is when you apply the lash glue you see the lash glue is on there and just wait for the lash glue to turn like a dark purple and that's when you know it's like ready to be placed on your eyelids so probably about 20 seconds all right so now that 20 seconds is up what you're going to do is going to place the lash on your lash line and then you're gonna hit this bottom button right here and that's gonna release it. All right, so I got this mirror right here. And I'm just gonna do that right now. And once you get the lash, the lash on your little, your eyelid or whatever, you're just gonna press that button to release it. All right, so it's on there. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's that long piece right there. Focus is not working right, but. All right, so here's a close up of the lashes. Right here, you see right there. That's it right there. And surprisingly it worked this time, but I will say I did have to like kind of use my fingers to kind of guide it after I press the release button. But uh, yeah, but the other times it didn't work because I feel like 
the release button you have to press it really hard and when you press it really hard your hand shakes so the lashes are going to like not connect with your eyelid so um i would think that they, i heard that they're going to come out with another one that maybe they're going to come out with one that's um refillable because this right here is not a refillable one so um yeah they're going to come out with a refillable one and they're going to make some other changes to it i guess this is like the first little prototype so uh yeah but it is on there now and like it comes in comes with 44 little um sections of eyelashes not a full eyelash set so if you like the individual lashes then this is a good product for you but um honestly i don't know if it's like worth the money i would rather i would rather wait till they come out with the um other the other lash the other flirt lash applicator because uh this one i feel like it can use a little bit more work um so yeah, it's great for holding lashes if you want to keep lashes in there. But I don't really wear lashes that much anyway, so I'm not really bothered by it. But usually when it comes out and it doesn't stick, I'll just put it on myself, which kind of defeats the purpose of having this thing. So, um, but yeah, I mean, it's good. It's great as a guide. I mean, it's great as a guide to put on my eyelashes, but as far as like a seamless process of, you know, putting it up there, releasing it, and it's staying, um, it does not, it's not very consistent with that. However, I'm glad it worked for this vlog so you guys can see how it worked. Um, but yeah, that's my review on it. Um, so yeah, go check it out if you guys want to try it out or anything. It's flirtcosmetics.com. I'm not sponsored by it or anything. Um, I just got it because I saw another YouTuber using it. So yeah, I might just wait for another one to come out before I invest in another one of these. Because once I use that up, I'll have to throw it away. So um, yeah. So anyway, that's my review on it. And uh, yeah, if you guys want to go get it go check it out so i'm gonna end this vlog here and i will and we will see you guys on sunday for our sunday main video talk to you guys later bye